human beings are made very differently. And there is no way that we all want to conform or confine human beings to behave in a particular way or express themselves in a particular way. For those of you who think they are gifted in expressing yourselves or, or, or projecting your frustrations, not everybody can be like you. And as, an, an, as a mature human being and a leader, what we need to learn is how to tolerate each other. If you know that this particular person has this kind of character, then know how to tolerate that character and respect who they are. Because we all have different characters. We all have, we all have different personalities. And again, secondly, let's not forget that we are talking about sexual harassment here. This is something that has been downplayed over so many years, and a lot of us have gone through so many frustrations of refusing to be employed because of sexual advances from particularly the men. Not only that, there are also young men in offices who I know have gone through a lot of sexual harassment from ladies, older ladies. And I'm very frustrated as a young person in this country because that has been the norm within this nation, that somebody will be asked for sexual favors. If you don't conform, you remain jobless. And while at the same time, a lot of people are losing and missing opportunities because of this thorn in the flesh. What this house should be talking about is putting strong and stringent laws forward to regulate sexual harassment, especially in public and government offices. From the top to the bottom, we have had a lot of reports even in the media of women being sexually harassed. And right now to the public, what they see is a young assertive woman who rose and defended against sexual harassment. A lot of times, we might see different things in the house, but what, how, what does the public see? What does the public see? And a lot of times, when assertive women come out and defend their position on these issues, their heads are pressed down. The thing this house should be discussing is how to prevent sexual harassment. And a lot of times when the victim has been harassed, you are not in a position to get evidence. Things flow and you don't, you don't have evidence. A minute, Senator Azena, what is your point of order? And Again, let us also not continue just raising point of order. No, 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 Mr. Speaker. I, I am not in the habit of raising frivolous points of order. Understanding Order 120, again to remind this House, that the report before us is a report of the Powers and Privileges Committee. In this particular case, nobody has accused Gloria of being an assertive woman. Nobody has accused her of lack of proper expression. We are not saying she cannot express you herself. She's one order. of the most eloquent senators in this House. The, po the, the, the report of the House is very simple. She made allegations. She needed to substantiate. She failed to substantiate. There are consequences of dragging people's names through the mud, and then you don't say it. You don't come here to lecture us about, oh, Senator sexual this, sexual that. Show us the evidence. Show us the evidence. Nobody is interested in sexual advances here. Senator Sifuna. Senator Sifuna, you know you cannot uh, put exact ones that any senator should uh, use in this house. As long as she is contributing on this particular matter. She is contributing on this particular matter. If I reason, she is defending women and the young leaders, young women leaders. So to me, she is not out of order. Senator Azena, proceed and conclude your minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This is exactly what happens when young women are assertive in this country. And it is time, Mr. Speaker, some people, I am, I am. Members, honor members, Senator Zena, I am, and I have the right to be heard. 
Because Mr. Speaker, silence. protect me, Mr. Speaker. Time to, to get to the floor. You protect me, Mr. Speaker, from people exhibiting chauvinism, male chauvinism. Senator Zena, stop and raising members. Just proceed and conclude your uh, Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sifuna, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Uh, on, uh, Senator Sifuna does not utilize my eyes. I do not use your eyes to read the report, nor do you live with me. There is no way you will know if I read the report or not. So stick to your lane. Senator Zena, stop and raising members directed. And raise the chair kindly. Thank and you, Mr. Chair. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as I continue, like I reiterated, that what we need to discuss in this house in how, is how to protect people and young women especially from sexual harassment. Why? Because a lot of times when these allegations are made or we have cases like this, a lot of times it's thrown under the bus because there is no evidence. And a lot of, in a lot of instances when this is happening, you do not even have time to get evidence. So, Mr. Speaker, we need to be very fair in how we approach these issues and know that this house is a house for all of us and everybody deserves respect. I do not agree with the insults uh, um, labeled against uh, our fellow colleagues, but at the same time, you do not see every problem uh, when you have a hammer, you see every problem as a nail. We must not use hammers to correct or, to, or guns to deal with very small problems. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.